Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. Uh, video uh, today is on electricity. This is part three of electricity. And we're going to give you a little bit of information about circuits and um, series and parallel resistors and that kind of thing. So first thing that I want you to know is electrical power, it's power, so you expect it would be measured in watts, and it is. Power is mathematically derived by taking the current times the voltage. You just multiply those two together and you get power. Current is measured in amps, voltage is measured in volts. So measure those or multiply those two things together and you get watts, which is the um, electrical power. So in order to have an electrical circuit, you need three specific pieces. You need an energy source, you need a path, and you need a load. So let's kind of break this down. An energy source usually is a battery or it's um it's um well, it's a battery or it's plugging something into the wall, which gives you the energy from the power plant. Um, the path is actually the, 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 the way that the electrons, the route the electrons are going to take uh, as they go to impact the load. Now, do you have to have a load to have an electrical circuit? And the answer is yes, because you're only going to have a circuit if electrons flow because of a um, difference in electric potential. And so you do need to have a load. The flow of electrons requires a complete circuit. So let's say you're missing the path or part of the path, you're not going to have a flow of electrons. You don't have a flow of electrons, you won't have electricity. Two kinds of circuits that we're going to talk about, the series circuit. Series circuit is kind of like a train where one thing is after the other, after the other. It doesn't really matter at this point which goes first, but if you look at this, this is a battery and two light bulbs, and if you look at it, it's the battery and then a bulb and a bulb or you could say a bulb and a bulb and a battery. If I broke this right here and I pulled it out straight, you would see that it was a straight, one straight line with three things in that line. That's series. The problem with series is that when one of these things goes out, now you no longer have a path, so you have no electron flow. So if, the, if this light bulb, for instance, burned out, this one would also go out, even though it was perfectly fine because Electrons would not be able to flow through there, therefore you would not have a complete circuit. Parallel, however, looks a little bit different. It looks like a ladder. See the rungs on a ladder or a train track. That's what parallel looks like. So here's the same thing, two light bulbs and a battery, only now it's in parallel. And what I really like about parallel is each one of them is like their own individual circuit. So if you could see this right here well, that's like a circuit, isn't it? So if this light bulb burned out, that one would be fine. So now let's get rid of this light bulb. If this one burned out, well, look, the electrons still have a complete path that they can take. So if one fails, the other one doesn't fail. The other one continues um, glowing. It used to be Christmas lights were always in series. Christmas tree, you know, the lights that you put on your tree. So when one of them died, they all would die. Now most of them are in parallel where you'll see if one of them dies, the rest of them still work. Now in order to be a good scientist, you need to know the abbreviations and the symbols and what the pictures look like. You're not allowed to just draw whatever you want and expect everybody gets going to know it's a battery. When you draw a battery, it's one short line and one long line. That's a battery. These things coming off of it are not the battery. They're actually the wire attached to the battery. Wire is a single line, a single line, not a double line, a single line. A switch is a single line with a break in it. Resistor looks like this little squiggly thing. Notice it's like V's or W's. It's not like S's. It's sharp points. And a light bulb is just a circle with a squiggle in it. It's a specific kind of resistor. That's how it works. It resists the change. It re resists the flow of electrons. So if you see something like this and you have to figure out whether it's series or parallel, pretend like you're going to cut it at some point and pull it straight. If we cut this and pulled it straight, you would see everything was in a straight line and that means it's in series. Here's exactly the same items, only they're in parallel. Do you see how this looks more like a train track? And if I cut it here, I still couldn't cut, take it apart. If I cut it here and opened it up, I still have this jagged thing hanging out. It doesn't look like a straight line. So that's parallel. With these, each one of these light bulbs will stay lit if one of them uh, burns out. With these, they won't. Of course, the switch needs to be closed in order for the, uh, the path to be complete. But once the switch is closed and path is complete, if even one of the batteries burns out in series, they all do. They don't all burn out, but they all go up. 
in parallel if one burns out they're all just fine